welcome to Vantage. We are coming to you from New York. The election fever is over. President-elect Donald Trump is hitting the ground running. New reports say he spoke to Russia's Vladimir Putin last week. But the Kremlin says the call never happened. So why the mixed messaging? What is Donald Trump's plan to end the war in Ukraine? We'll bring you a report. And while Putin denies the call, another world leader is bragging about it. Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu. He has spoken thrice to Donald Trump. Will these talks lead to a ceasefire in West Asia or will it escalate the fighting? And what does Donald Trump's cabinet look like? He's made more appointments. We'll tell you who made the cut and who did not. In Bangladesh, more protests against Sheikh Hasina. Dhaka is moving Interpol to arrest the ousted prime minister. In Pakistan, another terror attack in Quetta. Will instability derail their economic revival plans? And Pakistan's iron brother China has unveiled a massive stimulus package. Will the $1.4 trillion bailout revive the sleeping dragon? All this and more lined up. First, the headlines. Khalistani terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Pannu threatens India again. Claims that they will target Hindu temples, including the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya, on the 16th and 17th of November. The threat video was reportedly recorded in Brampton, Canada. Last month, Pannu had warned passengers against flying on Air India flights. Big relief for Japanese Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba. He manages to keep his job after surviving a parliamentary vote today. Ishiba took office six weeks ago and held a snap election in late October, where the ruling coalition lost its majority, its worst general election result in 15 years. Mauritius's Prime Minister concedes election defeat, with the opposition appearing to be poised for victory in the legislative polls. Opposition leader Naveen Ramgulam looks set to be the new Prime Minister for the third time. The election campaign was overshadowed by a wiretapping scandal. Saudi Crown Prince demands immediate ceasefires in Gaza and Lebanon at the Arab summit, but Israeli Foreign Minister rejects the establishment of a Palestinian state, claims it is not a realistic goal. This comes as Mohammed bin Salman urges Israel to respect Iran's sovereignty and not attack its territory. India won't be travelling to Pakistan for the Champions Trophy. The International Cricket Council informs the Pakistan Cricket Board. India has cited security concerns. PCB has now raised the matter with the Shahbaz Sharif government. The Champions Trophy tournament is slated to be played in Pakistan early next year.